So it is December the 11th. 11th and we've decided to have a walk to Costa Del Eke. A decky. Yeah, I'm, my pronunciation is terrible, I'm sorry. We're literally starting point at this at hotel here. The Bitacora? Yeah, which is opposite the Volcano. Volcano. And we are staying actually in the best Tenerife hotel. Name of the hotel, not the best hotel, best which is also, Tenerife. yeah, it's called the best Tenerife, which is across the road from the H10. So just to show you roughly what it's like, we're taking a walk to Costa del Deque and just showing you roughly what's in this area as well. So come along. We're going past this hotel here. The La Siesta. We can actually see from our room, but just showing you roughly what the area is like. There's some like little shops and things down there. It's a very, very warm day again. It's been warm every single day out here. It's been probably 28 every single day, which for December, it's fantastic. So we're going past the actual pool area of this hotel now. Quick look in there. As you can see, it's quite a nice pool area. Looks good for the little ones, that one. Over the back there seems like a little slide. So, quite a nice hotel it looks. Just showing you for location, maybe you're staying in that hotel, maybe you're staying in one of the other hotels that we mentioned. But at least you'll see roughly what's in this area as we walk down to the actual beach and then along to Costa El Deque. So picturesque here with the palm trees, isn't it? Aren't yeah, they? The and the cacti, or cactus, as I call them. You know, it's good straight away as soon as you can't leave the hotel, it enforces that you are in <laughs> a tropical paradise. Straight down the road that way is the actual see but we're not going that way we're going this way because it's a little bit more shops and things like that to see and this is the actual direction we need to walk in anyway so as you see that's h10 hotels there going past the restaurant the savoy as you see loads of restaurants haven't actually got prices they've got prices here so so we just carry on are wandering along this to show you we will do another vlog at night to show you roughly what this is like and it's an old new world isn't it it's an old new world this is actually going down towards the actual veronica's isn't it yeah which is like a nightclub for younger people not us but it's very popular so as you can see, loads of little places to eat at everywhere here. There, it really is so much to do here, isn't it? Eat and drink and... It's how it's for everyone. Yeah, there's something for everybody. And prices for everyone as well. And prices are pretty reasonable. Yeah, they fluctuate yeah. from one to another, so you look around. Yeah, yeah, never go to the first like, restaurant or that. You can get a lot cheaper, as we found out with the... Um, Sangria, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, near to the hotel, sangrias are coming out to be one litre, 20 euros. And then down in like, um, Ross Chris, we was getting a food just under, just over, yeah, just, just over 10 euros. Yeah. And then, oh, as you go down towards Costa El Deque, they go down to eight euros. 70 i think they was just a, a, a weird a weird price 70 but that's what we had yesterday so just shows you 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 pay for location and you pay for the views but you can get them a lot cheaper half price in fact so as you can see we're literally parallel to the actual sea here just walking along the hotel where we first booked up when we come on this trip but then we changed it because the reviews were of noise were a little bit too much for us the sole 
Sol Tenerife was that one? Yeah, which is actually faces on to Veronica's and at night it can be a bit noisy so we didn't want to take the chance with that that's why we went into the Tenerife best we moved location before actually getting there but reviews are mixed with that if you stay on this side of the building it's supposed to be lovely lovely views and everything like that. If you stay on the other side then you do get the noise so we've been told we've not stayed there just been told as you can see lots more restaurants yeah, Traveller's Rest. You really, you'd need six months here, wouldn't you, to try all these? Yeah, and a lot of money. <laughs> but anyway, let's just carry on. So another restaurant, very popular. Steakhouse. Just show you some of the prices there. Looks pretty reasonable, doesn't it? Snacks, seven euros, 90. So yeah, looks pretty reasonable. So we're now just wandering around here. Onto, what do you call it, the Veronica Strip? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to do another one at night and you're going to see the total different side of this, so... It's just to show you. But it's a pleasant walk, isn't it? Even yeah. like along the waterfront, it's a pleasant walk. And as I said, Sol Tenerife, you can see, if you've got them apartments this side, you are literally facing Veronica's 1, which then faces Veronica's 3, onto Veronica's 4. And when we do our nighttime one here, you'll see how lively this place can be. And for younger people, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, eh? yeah you're going to enjoy yourself here. <laughs> for us oldens, you literally go to the other side of this, and there's restaurants and everything like that. In fact, we'll go through there and just have a little look at that side now, I think, yeah? Mm. There is a KFC here, Subways. Yeah, Donna Kebab. Lots and lots of things to do. Let's actually go through to the seaside of Veronica's. So, as you actually come through by the side of the Salt Tenerife, you'll see the actual waters here. And at night, you can actually sort of sit here and have a nice meal. Considering like Veronica's the other side of this, it's, it's, totally it's another world. And it is literally just this path just show you the actual waves and the surfers over there. There you go. As you can see, this is the actual way you do the surfing. And it's pretty good just sit there watching them, isn't it, on the beach? We've done it yesterday. Yeah. Got a parasail. <laughs> Obviously, Food prices again. Nice restaurant to sit down. If you're lucky, you will get a seaside table. But this is nice here, isn't it? Yeah. Right? This is nice. So many restaurants to go along, just sit down. Like we've done this before and we just sat down there and had a beer. If I remember rightly, it was not the cheapest beer. I can't. Just can't actually remember. No, it wasn't one euro here. Oh, no. Not one here. No, that's further down. We let all the... <laughs> I had scooters go past. This is very nice here though, isn't it, babe? Yeah? Very, very nice. As you can see, loads and loads of restaurants. Nice to sit down at night as well as the daytime, listening to the sea. As you can see, the further along you get, the cheaper the beers. So we just go over the top of this bridge here, show you the actual beach in this area. <coughs> it's a very nice beach. We did sit on here 
a few hours the other day. And just look at that. Brilliant, isn't it? Hey. So just roughly showing you what it's like in December in Tenerife. And also, I hope you can see the actual waves there breaking. They're pretty fierce. Anyway, onward with the journey. I love just watching them waves. Onward we go. Just show you where we are now. Hotel Toya. And along we go. Seven euros ninety-five free call special. Prices are getting cheaper. As you can see, the beers are now one euro. Not, Carol's not interested in a one euro beer, <laughs> so we just carry on. Unfortunately, yeah. Should we have a one euro beer? Yeah. And then carry on, then yeah. Okay then. Out of the bag somewhere, yeah. Go. Off we go. Just look how nice and ice cold these beers are. Okay, thank you. Oh, that glass is freezing cold. Yeah, as I said, you get them cheaper the further you go out of Las Americas. Cheers. Set there. Cheers. So we were just saying. This is the best beer. This is the I've best beer we've had since we've yeah. been out here, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. it's so frozen. It's it is lovely. Frozen. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Definitely the best beer we've had in Tenerife. Yeah. And it's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest. As you can see, two euros, 15 cents because of the actual tax for the best beer in Tenerife. Fantastic. So, as you can see, this is the place we actually stayed in. We had a fantastic beer for two euros, 15 cents. And these people, nice beer? Beautiful. Yeah, not just our words, other people's as well. Bye bye. <laughs> Onward with our journey to, where was it called? Costa Rica. That beer was absolutely fantastic. Just in case you want to know where that bar is, it's Player El Bobo, I believe. And then we was literally just down there. And it really is a lovely, lovely beer. Ice cold glass. Onward we go. Just trying to show you some of the views of where we walk from. If you ever you look there, I think right in the thing, you can actually see it's the um, Seoul Tenerife. That was literally halfway here. We come from the other side of that little piece there. So it's been about about 15 20 minute walk so far. We did stop for the beer obviously. And now we're just wandering along up the hill. I must say you actually do vlogging and people you walk past, a lot of them are very friendly and smile and everything. Some places you go to they're a little bit off. Another little showing you what the prices are, yeah. But yeah, people here, people here sort of smile at you when you're actually doing vlogs. One of the friendliest places to do vlogs, I believe. Anyway, we will carry on and see if we end up to Costa Aldeque. So we're currently now on our little journey, walking past Villa Mar Hotel or apartments. We're not too sure. Showing you the view again. Some absolutely stunning views. Really, really stunning views. 
Onwards. We're saying upwards, but we don't know if it's upwards or downwards, do we? No idea. Hey. Yeah. Ah, it's still me As you can see, some of the actual activities you can do prices. Just in case you want to book any excursions while you're at here. It's a delightful place, isn't it? Hey, with views. Oh, yeah. Absolutely delightful. So it looks as if we could be approaching Costa Adeki because the prices of actual beer are going up. 190 now. But this is looks like a very, very nice place to sit again. There's so many places. Just if you're out in like Las Americas, take this walk, sit down and just literally everything. Frozen cocktail, 299. Do you want a frozen cocktail? 299, no? Yeah. You sure? No, it's a nice What? It's a nice pot. Yeah, it's a cocktail though. Yeah, no. Right, yeah. don't it? So anyway, I tried to get my wife a frozen cocktail. Doesn't want it. What can you do? Just can't please some people. Anyway, we're carrying on. Hopefully, we'll soon be at Costa Del Eke. What's it called? Okay. I don't know. I've had a beer. Costa a Costa a decade. I think that's how we think that's how we that we don't know. We're just enjoying ourselves on holiday. Water colon. Loads and loads of boats. Very nice. Very nice views. And it's getting warmer and warmer. So, we will carry on, hopefully we will make it, but it is so warm today, it's so, so warm, unbelievable temperatures here in Tenerife in December, absolutely unbelievable, what well, surprised us anyway, didn't it, the temperatures, it's hot, it's hot, it's very hot, unbelievably hot, yeah, well, off we go on a quest to Costa Adeki. Right, we actually believe we've made it here. Yeah? Apologies if we haven't because we ain't going that much further, are we? But it looks lovely, it looks delightful, doesn't it? Let's have a little look around there, maybe we get a bite to eat. Yeah, and it wasn't that far at all, was it? I'd say, how long would you say? 45 minutes. 45 minutes walk and a very nice walk, and we stopped off for a beer as well. But yeah, very, very nice, and another nice place to see. Let's go down and have a little bit of explore. Mm -hmm. Just look at some of the prices here. The beers here are two euros, double the price, five minutes walk down the coast. But you're paying for the views on the beach. So you don't really worry about paying that price when you've got these views, really. So there may be a bit of wind noise on this. Apologies. But it is. In this seat, that wind is... It's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. It just... There's something magical about watching the ocean, isn't there? The waves crashing. Yeah, there's something magical about it. I don't know what it is. And we've been lucky to see it from a few different countries this year. So anyway, we're going to try to literally go over to that beach there. And then we will call it a day with this blue log and walk back and have a few drinks on the way back. back. Yeah. Help us yeah. But. This is nice. This is the Beach Club Tenerife. What do you think of our walk? Really, really nice walk, yeah? You don't realise how far we've walked. I mean, you don't realise because you're just taking in the views. You start realising when you're going back. <laughs> yeah, although when you get back, it's after you get back, you really actually try and get up and move. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
But anyway, I hope someone got something out of this video just to see what's actually out here. And maybe you'll do the same walk, stop off a few more bars and enjoy yourself. This is something else, isn't it? Mm. Hi. Yeah, the shoreline goes on forever, doesn't it? It does, it goes, yeah. You could just carry on walking forever. Look how many people. But you consider, like, now I think, what is it, two weeks to Christmas? Yeah. Two weeks to Christmas. You think most people are still working, getting ready for Christmas, coming out here. But you can't, the amount of people that are lucky enough to be able to travel just before Christmas and to experience this. And we are one of them, and we don't, you know, we don't, what would you put it? Take it for granted how lucky we've been this year on travelling, haven't we? We've yeah, been so, so lucky to enjoy places like this and also to share them with people on like YouTube so that they're coming out here. Hopefully, you can see and think, oh, we'll be there soon because that's what we do. We go on YouTube, we see somewhere, and we save up and we get enough money so we can go. We go home and we pay the credit card off by working. <laughs> <laughs> and then on to the next one. <laughs> Just like that, the beers are coming down again. It seems to be the higher up you go, the cheaper the beers. <laughs> the lower to the shoreline, <laughs> the dearer they are. That's a little place there. Couldn't get past the shop could I without her looking. Aye? Every time. Nice walk ended by a shopping spree. We have made it to the beach. So I've actually come to McDonald's. I've ordered a burger with an egg on top of it. Carol's ordered, what all burger did you order, Carol? I had a cheeseburger. Just a cheeseburger. Yeah. You've got a Coke. I've got a Coke. And I've got a beer, haven't I, with mine. And it comes to how much? 21 euros. 21, 12. yeah. Because I did enjoy the beer last time I was in Tenerife in McDonald's, so I want to try one again. So Carol's currently waiting for our order to be done. I decided to sit inside because it is so hot outside and um, a little bit of music would have got copyright but just to sit here and try the beer and see if it's as good as I thought it was last time. So Carol's taking advantage of the free yeah, Wi-Fi yeah. McDonald's. I've literally got my hamburger with my egg there. on top. This is where we've, We've got these fries the with the bacon on. Carol just went for a normal burger as you can see and, busy, and busy, busy. I went for a beer because I really enjoyed this beer last time so these fries were really nice this cheesy, cheesy bacon, bacon cheesy bacon fries was really nice burger I didn't really like my burger too much a bit too dry just a, not even as good as a normal yeah yeah it wasn't very nice so the beer last time I had a beer in McDonald's I really really enjoyed it this time, after having that one euro pint up there, this just seemed like a normal beer again. So, yeah, pretty, pretty disappointing that we walked all this way to literally come here. But we, we walked all this way yeah. to get a McDonald's hamburger. We weren't playing with that yeah. at all. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is the end of this little vlog. We're going to sort of take a leisurely stroll back now. But thank you for watching until the next one. Bye bye. bye.